Hey friends and happy Sunday. I am back with you for another uh, encouragement, an encouraging word today. Just something that um, I have been thinking about all day today. And it kind of relates to a conversation that I was having with someone recently. And we were talking about hearing from the Lord and how sometimes it can be difficult to hear from the Lord. I wanna preface all of this by saying we will never hear from the Lord unless we are in his word. That is the place where we are going to experience his voice, where we are going to hear what it is that he has to say, to hear what it is that he's giving us as instruction, and then obeying what it is that we are hearing within his word. But I was talking with somebody the other day who was saying, you know, sometimes um, I feel like I've gotten his voice wrong, like I've heard him wrong. Now, I can tell you, with 100% certainty that I have wrestled with this same thing in my life too. I have often thought I've got it wrong. Like I didn't hear him correctly. I maybe I maybe I was hearing his voice wrong. Maybe I don't really know Jesus as as well as I think I know him. I've struggled with this from time to time in my life. And it's always taken me back to the word. I've always gone back to the word because in the word we find out what he did, um, how he behaved, um, what he said, and, and it comes alive to us. And it's in those moments where we read those things that really we are given full um, indication as to what kinds of things he wants from us, what kinds of things that he would direct us to be doing. Um, but there are some times when we really wrestle with, did I hear from the Lord or did I get it wrong? And what really stood out for me in the conversation that I was having with someone recently about this is they were suggesting that, you know, well, God told me to do this thing. I was pretty sure about it. And I lined it up with scripture and it seems to be exactly what it would be that God would have me to do. So, so maybe that's like God told me to have a Bible study with someone or God told me to go and pray over that person or God told me to really speak truth to that person even though it was convicting that, it, well, we're supposed to do that. And so in scripture it lines up and so I thought I heard from the Lord to do this thing that aligns with scripture. And what I heard very loud and clear, and I'm, ho I'm hoping, God, let me get this right when I'm trying to communicate this. What I was hearing in my spirit was that the Lord was saying, be careful because sometimes what I tell you to do isn't always going to make sense. Yes, it's always going to line up with scripture. Yes, it's always going to be things that line up with the word. God is never going to tell us to do something that is going to be against what his word says. But here is what I know to be true. Sometimes he has us do practical things that don't make sense. So for instance, years ago, I was talking with a friend who was dealing with a very nasty neighbor and, um, you know, the, the situation was going from bad to worse. And she said, I just feel like God's saying, just drift away. Don't have anything to do with them. Just when you see them out in their yard, just turn the other way. Just don't even get involved into a conversation with them. And I said that I would pray for her, which I did. And I was hearing the exact opposite. So I kind of put a challenge before her. I didn't say, hey, you're wrong. You know, you heard the Lord wrong. Because again, I feel like there was justification in that. I feel like, yes, that when, when we have tried to do all that we need to do with a person, we've tried to bring them to Jesus. We've tried to show them scripture. We've tried to be Jesus with flesh on, right? Um, when we do those things, it is scriptural that we are to, you know, if they're not listening to us and they're not participating in redemption and they just don't want anything to do with God, that we just wipe our feet, wipe the dust from our feet and walk away. So we can be justified in that in scripture. But when I prayed for her, what I was hearing it loud and clear in my spirit is that maybe God often calls us to do things that are difficult that aren't always how we think logically he would have us to do. For instance, I was hearing that maybe 
what she needed to do was make a meal for this family. Maybe what she needed to do was just buy a gift for them and present maybe a peace offering, if you will, to them. Maybe she needed to extend grace. Maybe she needed to just go over there and say, hey, you know what, forgive me. Uh, maybe, maybe even if it wasn't something that they felt like they needed to ask forgiveness for, maybe it was just assuming responsibility, even though they didn't feel guilty over anything. Maybe it was just, you know, like bringing peace, being peace and offering a meal or bringing cookies over. Or maybe it was like cleaning up their yard, taking a rake and in the fall, just cleaning up the leaves in their yard. Maybe that was being Jesus with skin on. And so what I want to challenge you today with is this, absolutely, he will never speak against his word. He will never speak in a contradicting way with his word, never. He's always going to speak to us through his word and concerning his word. But sometimes maybe it's not so spiritual a thing that he's asking you to do. Maybe he's not asking you to, you know, just have a Bible study with them and, you know, speak to them about Jesus until they're blue in the face and they don't want anything to do with them because you've spoke with them and you've drilled it into their heads so much. Maybe it's, it's not doing the thing that in our spiritual senses makes the best sense. Maybe it's just practical, something practical. Maybe it's just, again, offering a meal. Maybe it's, again, just being a voice, to, to, or uh, maybe it's just being a ears to hear. Um, maybe it's just being somebody to sit and listen. Maybe it's being somebody that cleans their house for them or cleans up their yard for them or, you know, I don't know, fill in the blank. But, you know, maybe sometimes God calls us to do those practical things because it's in those practical things that we look most like Jesus, we look most like him. So friends, I just want to challenge you today. I don't know who needs to hear this message. I don't know what it is that you are, you've been praying about that you need God's clarification on, but maybe it's more practical than you think. Maybe it is just doing something uh, to love someone else today. And that is going to be the thing that changes the game for them. You know, it's like I told somebody just this morning, it's being light. Light um, often, what light does is light exposes darkness, right? And so maybe it's just being light to that person today and that in your light, they will see the places in their own life that they need to change and they need to give their life over to Jesus. But maybe it's just you being light in a practical way today that's going to be the game changer. So I hope that this has encouraged you today, friends, and I pray that you have an awesome day with Jesus. I'll see you later. Bye.